All right, so I'm about to start my wood grain on the last side of our fortune teller booth. Uh, this is the first time that I've used this tool. Um, I picked up some oops paint at uh, our local hardware store. And it, it's a shame because it's a little close to the color of the board that we used. So you're not really getting the depth that I would like to get with the tool. But we're going to go back in and airbrush some detail in. Um, the other thing that I realized on the other two sides was that whether it be just the climate of the day or the paint that I'm using, because it is oops paint, I just took what they had, um, or the uh, board, it really absorbs the paint and dries very quickly. So I'm going to try to um, move quickly when I do this. laying down like a really nice thick coat and again because of the board I really could only go one paint uh, brush width at a time. So it's really easy. It's just a rocking motion. Quick wipe down. Again, I know everything that I watched was they painted the whole piece and then went back, which I did on the first side and it just really didn't work with the uh, this piece. So, just learning on the fly. I'm going to go the opposite way this time. All right, now this time I'm going to use on the uh, side of the tool, there's some teeth, small and then big. I kind of like the small ones better. You know, there's lots of uh, different techniques out there with um, using gloss and all different layers of paint to give this uh, effect. But because this is a prop that we're more than likely only using this year, uh, I'm not going to go through all that.
just giving the tool a little light wipe at the end just because the grooves in the actual tool aren't as deep as I really would like them to be. So you really have to wipe it down in between. light rock all right that's it I mean it's really quick to get the effect here really pretty easy pretty happy with it like I said just want to go back in and uh, maybe either dry brush or airbrush some detail into the wood. Uh, there's going to be some lettering in the front for the fortune teller. But just wanted to show the tool. All right.